this uh, quick video is about um, the new frames that I just released on Thingiverse, uh, mostly called the pickle pickle pick. So I want to to make a proper introduction to the to the frames and what's new on these ones uh, for the first time because usually I don't. I just post photos and stuff like that. But maybe interesting to. Um, to talk a bit about all uh, all this one, um, you know the the old design probably already um, that is quite commonly used and uh, pretty pretty good uh, so far. Uh, but I wanted to to change a bit and uh, simplify the the frame and the designs and. Um, adapt it to, I don't know, to the last of the year or something like that, to try something a, a slightly different. So the, the, the old one is um, usually cut in uh, two millimeters uh, carbon fiber. Uh, it's quite stiff and it's quite flyable and quite uh, uh, usable. Um, you usually have a um, universal motor mount for nine millimeter motors and uh, cut out for the, the USB frame and um, the frame usually is 5.56 uh, grams. Um, the new designs are slightly, very slightly different. Uh, mounted some some motors to show you. Um, first of all, there are there is no more USB cuts uh, down there because it was quite a pain to maintain over the the months because I had to move it a bit uh, since the first uh, IO board and stuff like that. And now that you have uh, some good. Um, a good new boards with the the side uh, side USB. It's not really an issue, but I wanted to remove it to to save some weight. Um, the other difference is that I quite gave up on the universal mount because um, technically it's um, it makes a, a bigger arm end, uh, which is a bit heavier because you have to to reinforce it a bit to to be solid. Um, so this one is uh, for only four motor, four hole motors, sorry, um, with three, just three holes because it holds uh, sufficiently good. There is also a frame version of, uh, of this one um, for three hole motors like the, 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 the good old Amex or a happy model for one that want to use this motor. Um, the, the other thing you may notice quite easily is that the, the arm uh, are very thin. In fact, um, it's partially an optical illusion because they are chamfered. They are a bit thicker than what you, you may see if you look quickly at it. Um, but they are thinner because uh, the carbon is thicker. On this 65 millimeter version, the, the carbon is um, 2.5 millimeters uh, thick. And on this three inch version, which is, which is the same, but uh, upscaled, um, it's three millimeters. Um, I've done this in order to, to reinforce the, 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 the frame. Um, and in fact, it comes out that is the same weight as the previous version. The, the three inch is uh, a bit less than seven grams, and this one is five point four grams. So, um, in fact, you have the the same amount of carbon uh, we could say, but it's uh, distributed differently. It's um, it's on the the upper scale and not on the wider scale. So. It's a bit better in terms of uh, aerodynamics because the, the arm is way thinner, so you'll get more drag force, I guess. And it seems that, that this version of the frame flies way better than the previous one. And uh, it's really, really ultra stiff. Um, I like it a lot uh, compared to the, the, the previous versions. So I, I, I think I, I won't work on the, the, the old ones. These one are really, really good and interesting. Um, what I forgot to mention is that uh, there is a whoop uh, pattern with three holes only, not the rear one, and 16 by 16 millimeter stacks as well because it's a common choice on this, this size of of quad. Um, these two builds will use one the Brother Hobby Motor uh, 1103 which is excellent uh, 
um, got the info for, from the people using it uh, and they are really really happy with this one and uh, the 3 inch I'm going to convert um, my 2 S 3 inch setup with this uh, Dayton Mamba motors uh, 1105 um, hopefully this build will be very nice um, one last thing to say all these frames are coming from CNC Madness that cut uh, on demand uh, frames and the, 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 the service is really nice um, you get all the files on Thingiverse you have a 65 meter version, 3 inch version, 3 hole, 4 hole, um, basically all the, the tips and, uh, and um, uh, hardware wide to make a, a nice build. Um, another frame I'd like to discuss about, uh, let me just take this one away is the EVO 2 I just recycled my prototype and I um, put all the, the gear from EVO 1 test machine into it um, I really like uh, I really like how it comes out um, despite the fact that uh, there is a little issue with the with this design uh, which is that at this size of arms and stuff like that is quite flexible uh, which is not really, 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 not, really great. Um, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, it seems that it's some kind of limitation uh, due to the fact that the arms are not uh, true X. So basically, you can't cut this along the wave um, if you compare to the uh, to this one. Um, which is the same wheelbase in fact this one is really uh, stiff this one is not hopefully it will be flyable anyway um, this version of the EVO frame which is the EVO 2 is uh, quite convenient as you can see because you can fit a lot of uh, a lot of things in it uh, you really have room to, 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 to make a cool 3 inch uh, HD build for instance or something like that in a more uh, box style uh, here I put the run cam nano splits, uh, the boards, the IO stack, and all the gears in it. I have to to sort the motors. Um, I will probably change a bit the design to make separate arms or or such. Uh, such kind of solution because um, it will be stiffer and uh, maybe more durable this way uh, but it will increase increase the weight this one is currently uh, 19 grams uh, with all the, the the hardware hardware so it's quite cool a bit heavy but you, you, you can do a lot of things on this size of frame frames um, and hopefully it will make a great uh, a great little machine I will flag this one anyway but I'm not sure that the result will be so fantastic so I'll see um, another thing I'd like to, to discuss about quickly is the motor size on 3 inch I use 1105 because uh, this one are quite easy to get uh, almost everywhere but I'm looking with great interest to um, to the motors recommended and uh, and um, uh, specified, if you can say that, by uh, Kabab FPV Bob Rugi, um, 1204. I have a set uh, on its way and uh, 1303 uh, from Amax. Uh, as I was told and I uh, what from what I've read, they are quite equivalent to the 1105 but maybe a bit more efficient uh, so let's see how it goes um, and hopefully they work great on on this uh, kind of trench setup uh, we, it will work uh, very well on this one I guess uh, I don't know if on a heavier build it will work uh, as good you just have to make some tests um, so thanks a lot for watching this video um, I'd like to thank uh, David Pierce for being the very first uh, tester on this uh, new pickle pick frame and um, he 
he made some great feedback saying that the, 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 the frame is really, really nice to fly. Uh, I'd like to, to, to make also some uh, durability test. Uh, all the links for the, the, these two kinds of frames uh, are in the description. Um, so thanks for being here and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.